So as we finish up this lecture, let's just refresh on all the verbs we learned last week. Select is the verb we use to select columns based on column name. Filter and slice are used to select certain rows, where filter helps us select rows based on a criteria, and slice is used to select rows based on their row number. Mutate is used for recoding variables or defining a new variable. Summarize condenses several rows worth of data into a single row. We can combine group by with functions like mutate and summarize in order to apply those functions separately for each group. And then arrange is something that's useful at the very end of a pipe to arrange data uh, in a specific order. So it's useful for sorting. Today we learned about joining, reshaping, separating, and uniting data. Joining is a useful way of combining two data frames that have at least one column in common. Remember that when you do any kind of join, the order in which you supply the data frames matters. Typically, when you do a left join, the data frame on the left, which is the first argument, is the one that you're primarily interested in. And when you do a right join, the data frame on the right, which is the second argument, is usually the one that you're primarily interested in. Reshaping data comes in two flavors. If you have a situation where you have one column that needs to get spread out into multiple columns, you can use the spread function. And if you've got a situation where you have multiple columns that need to get consolidated into a single column, you use the gather function. Both spread and gather are called reshaping functions because when you apply them, both the number of rows and the number of columns typically changes. On the other hand, the separate and separate rows functions are useful for dealing with situations when a single cell actually contains multiple values in it. When you want to separate a cell into multiple columns, you can use the separate function. If you want to separate a cell into multiple rows, you use the separate underscore rows function. When you have a situation where the information that should go into a single cell is actually spread out across multiple columns, you can combine those multiple columns using the unite function. Note that in the separate, separate rows and unite functions, at least one aspect of the rows and columns does not change. So when you do the separate function, the number of rows does not change. When you use separate rows, the number of columns does not change. And when you use the unite function, the number of rows does not change. 